Hello everyone. So hi, I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the third problem. And then in the next video, we are going to discuss the fifth problem. And then we'll be done posting all the solutions to all the problems of UGB 2023, uh, the exam which happened th uh, this last Sunday. So yeah, uh, let's get started. So there was only one uh, uh, geometry problem that came this year. So let's discuss that problem. So, uh, I mean, the geometry part was very easy. So that's why I did not discuss it earlier. So, uh, yeah, the problem is saying that you have a triangle ABC and consider D and E on AC and AB respectively, and assume that they do not coincide with any of the vertices A, B, or C. If the segment BD and CE are intersecting at F, consider the areas X, Y, Z, and W of the quadrilateral A, E, F, D, uh, and uh, yeah, and the triangles uh, B, E, F, B, F, C, C, D, F, respectively. And we have to prove that Y squared is greater than X, Z, X, Z. And we have to determine W in terms of X, Y, and Z. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, basically, I'll be approaching this problem in a very basic manner, just uh, figuring out the areas uh, and just simplifying the inequality. So this is UGB 2023. Sorry, 2023. Uh, this is problem number three, part A. So let's draw the diagram. So that is we have this triangle so this area is going to be x y z and this area is w the names are a b c the triangle And this is E, this is F, uh, sorry, that is D. And that's it. So now what we'll do is we'll just draw perpendiculars from these three points. Okay, so the intersecting point is given to be F. And let's name these as G, H, as well as I. And uh, let's say that the side length or uh, the length B, G, let's denote it by A. Okay, so B, G, let's denote it by A. G, H, let's denote it by B. H, I, let's denote it by C. So these are all the lengths that I'm denoting. And I C, let it, uh, let's denote it by D. Okay, and uh, let L be the length of B C. So this whole length, let it be L. And uh, then what we are having is that, and also we'll consider that uh, E G, the length of E G. Okay, so, uh, the length of EG is alpha and the length of FH is beta and the length of the perpendicular DI is uh, suppose gamma. Okay, and these are three perpendiculars. And now basically the area of triangle BEC is nothing but X plus Y. So from there we are getting X plus Y is half alpha times L and also Z plus Y, which is the area of the triangle BDC is half gamma times L and Y, which is basically the, this triangle BFC. So that's basically uh, half into BC into FH which is basically half into beta times L. And now we have to prove that Y squared is greater than XZ. 
So this is required to prove or else uh, uh, j let's just plug in uh, that is required to prove. So uh, y squared is greater than x. Uh, we can figure out from here from the first equation that is half alpha L minus y and that their half gamma L minus y. Or required to prove is, uh, so simplifying, uh, I'll be getting like y squared would get canceled out. And so we would be getting one fourth alpha gamma L squared is strictly less than half y L alpha plus gamma. And uh, further uh, simplification, we would obtain that is required to prove y is greater than alpha gamma L by two times alpha plus gamma. Now, since y is equals to half beta L, which is basically like given uh, we have obtained here. So from there, uh, or it's required to prove is that this uh, half is getting canceled with this two and uh, the remaining is coming out to be beta is L is also getting canceled out is getting uh, beta is greater than alpha gamma divided by alpha plus gamma. Okay. Or required to prove we have uh, that is let's divide by uh, that is let's take everything on one side and uh, let's divide. So let's see that, uh, I mean, alpha plus gamma, if we multiply and divide it by alpha gamma. So what we are getting is beta times alpha plus gamma divided by uh, alpha times gamma which is greater than one or required to prove is that beta by alpha plus uh, this beta by gamma is greater than one. So if we are, if, uh, if we are able to prove this, then we are done. Now look at triangle. E G C. So triangle E G C and triangle F H I. Okay. So I mean, let's join F and I. So triangle F H I and E G C. They are uh, like from the, those two triangles, what I'm getting is so from triangle EGC and triangle FHI, what we have is beta by alpha, which is basically, uh, as you know, like beta is FH by uh, alpha is EG. Okay, so FH by EG is nothing but uh, the C plus D, which is HC divided by B plus C plus D, which is GC. So, because I mean, those two lines are parallel uh, uh, 90 degrees. So that's why we are getting C plus D divided by B plus C plus D. And similarly, uh, we would be getting beta over gamma. So gamma is DI and beta is uh, FH. So, uh, from triangle B D I, so B D I and uh, triangle F B H. Okay, so from those two triangles, like these two are parallel. Okay, and from there we would be getting that this is nothing but uh, beta by gamma would be nothing but this. A plus B, that is BH divided by, uh, that is uh, this whole thing, that is A plus B plus C, that is BI. 
okay so beta by gamma so from triangle b d i and triangle b f h we are having beta by gamma is a plus b by a plus b plus c and so now the sum a plus b by a plus b plus c plus c plus d by b plus c plus d should be greater than one so this is required to prove okay now uh, the, there are inequalities like uh, a plus b by a plus b plus c is strictly greater than b by b plus c and also we'll have c plus d by b plus c plus d will be strictly greater than c by b plus c and now if you add them so it, these two if you add them it's becoming one now you would say that how do we know that this inequality is true so take everything on one side just cross multiply and simplify out uh, the numerator and you will find out that it's uh, i mean since all are positive uh, distance and uh, they are the length so you would be basically getting that uh, those things are coming out to be positive okay so uh, if you want, like I can show you one of them. That is, uh, let's show the first one. That is A plus B by A plus B plus C minus B by B plus C. Okay, so this is nothing but A plus B times B plus C minus B times A plus B plus C divided by A plus B plus C times B plus C. And that is equal to uh, this AB, AB would get cancelled out, then B square would get cancelled out. So let me write it down, AB plus B squared plus AC plus BC minus AB minus B squared minus BC. Okay, and divided by A plus B plus C times B plus C. And now you would see that A, B, A, B getting cancelled out, B square getting cancelled out, B, C getting cancelled out. And you have A, C over A plus B plus C divided by B plus C. So whatever, everything is positive. And so this is strictly greater than zero. And similarly, like the next inequality is also a similar one. So yeah, that's it. The first part is done. Now let's talk about the second part. Okay. So, I mean, for the second part, it was uh, like all we had to do is we have to figure out W in terms of X, Y, and Z. So for this, what we'll do is we'll join A and F and notice that uh, this thing that is, let's, let's say that the area here is W1 and here is W2. So such that W1 plus W2 is equals to W. Now what is like, uh, let's figure out uh, W1 and uh, some relation between W1 and X. So as you can see that W1 by X is nothing but the, uh, I mean, these two triangles have the same height, but um, I mean, uh, their base, so the ratio of the areas will be the ratio of their bases. So that is AE by EB, and that is also equals to the other two triangles AEC and ECB. So here also, like the areas are becoming dub. Uh, so this is becoming like uh, W plus Z divided by X plus Z. Uh, sorry, X plus Y. Okay, similarly, W2 plus uh, W2 over Z, like on this side, AD by DC, that also we can have as the area ratio of these two triangles, that is uh, the area of AFD divided by area of DFC. And that is AD by DC, which is equals to, 
the idea of AB, ABD and DBC. So which is basically W plus X divided by Z plus Y. Okay. And now you can basically figure out W1, uh, which is, uh, so W1 plus W2 is W. W1 is nothing but, uh, as you can see from here, that is W plus Z times X divided by Z plus Y, sorry, divided by X plus Y plus W2 is Z times W plus X divided by Z plus Y. And this is equal to W. So finally, like I'm getting uh, the final equation where only W, X, Y, and Z are involved. Okay, so now since uh, W is in linear form here, so you can basically take uh, everything uh, involving W on one side and take X, Y, Z, all the terms on the other side and figure out W. Okay, so that is like rest is calculation. Okay, so there's nothing else to this. So yeah, I, I am leaving you the calculation part. So that's it for uh, this problem. And uh, so we are only left with uh, one problem that is I think uh, uh, problem number seven. Uh, not, pro no, no, we saw, yeah, problem number seven is solved. So problem number five is left. So which we are going to discuss in the next problem, uh, next video. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And if the solutions are helping, so please don't forget to put a like. See you in the next one.